In this video, I'll show you how to fix any corrupted game files in Steam. So first head over to the Steam application and then select library from the top navigation. On the left hand side, you'll see a list of all of your games and you just need to right click on whatever game you're having issues with and then come over to properties. From the left hand side, click on installed files and then select verify integrity of game files. And you'll just need to wait for this process to get to 100%. And this is going to check through your files to ensure nothing's damaged or corrupted. Once this scan is complete, you can close out of this window, head over to Steam in the top left hand side, click on settings, click downloads from the left hand side, and then scroll down and select clear download cache and press this button here. And as you can see, this will restart your Steam application. It will clear all of your download cache, press confirm. Now, if you've tried those two steps and it's still not working, the last thing we can do is just close out of the Steam application just by right clicking it in the taskbar and click on exit Steam. Then what you can do is head over over to your file explorer, come inside of the C drive, come down to program files x86, click on the Steam folder at the bottom here, click on Steam apps, and you'll see this folder here called downloading. So what you need to do is just rename this folder. Doesn't matter what you rename it to, just make sure you change it. So I'm gonna add a digit one at the end of this, press enter to save those changes. And then once again, you can try launching up the Steam application and then checking now if that solved your corrupted files issue. Now, if you've tried everything everything and it's still not working. One other thing you can do is head over to your start menu, search for Windows Defender Firewall and from the left hand side click on Windows Defender Firewall on or off and then you just want to turn off all of your Windows Defender Firewall settings and then press OK to save these changes and then once again you can try heading over to Steam and checking if that's now fixed the issue. And that's it guys, hopefully by following these steps that's now fixed your corrupted game files issue. If you did find this video helpful then please let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.